also understand that one of the complications is the Europeans, who are very dependent on the Russians for uh, energy supply and business relationships. Uh, but they also need to recognize that if Putin is not stopped now, we could find ourselves in a real conflict with Russia down the road. Well, actually, let me jump in right there. Uh, Germany, <laughs> arguably the strongest power in Europe, in at Europe, least economically. Right. Right. Um, uh, there's been criticism that Angela Merkel and others haven't been aggressive enough. Yes. Uh, what do you uh, think of that? Do you think Germany's been as aggressive as they should be? I'm quite an admirer of Chancellor Merkel, and um, I heard her statement when she was with President Obama in Washington. I thought it was a very good statement. Uh, but now we need to have uh, tougher sanctions, and I'm afraid at some point this is going to probably have to invo involve oil and gas. Uh, the Russian economy is vulnerable. Eighty percent of Russian exports are in oil, gas, and minerals. Uh, people say, well, the Europeans will run out of energy. Well, the Russians will run out of cash before the Europeans run out of energy. And I understand that it's uncomfortable uh, to have an effect on business ties in this way. Uh, but this is one of the few instruments that we have. To, over the long run, you simply want to change the structure of energy dependence. You want to depend more on the North American energy platform, the tremendous bounty of oil and gas that we're finding in North America. You want to have pipelines that don't go through Ukraine and Russia. Uh, for years, we've tried to get the Europeans to be interested in different pipeline routes. It's time to do that. And so some of this is simply acting and acting as quickly as possible.